Tonight on the Showbiz Countdown, Showbiz Shockers, Lindsay Lohan's secret sister. Is a Food Network star's career cooked after a food critic sensational slam goes viral? Tonight, which star stunner will top the Showbiz Countdown? And thanks for watching. I'm AJ Hammer with two big showbiz countdowns tonight, including amazing flashbacks, the lost star interviews that we've uncovered in the showbiz vault that I have to tell you are just remarkable. Like Brad Pitt, before he was really famous and he was talking about what could be in his future, man, oh man, he had no idea. Plus, Miley Cyrus, before she was famous, and what she told me way back when, a special edition of the Showbiz Countdown, our top five must-see amazing flashbacks, coming up. But we begin with our first Showbiz Countdown of the night, three big Showbiz shockers breaking today, and kicking it off at number three, Food Fight. Now, the name of the show is Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. And we all know Guy Fieri from his Food Network show, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. But tonight, it's Guy who's being accused of running a dive. A New York Times review of his brand new high-profile restaurant was so nasty. This thing was so brutal, it actually went viral around the world, saying that the drinks taste like nuclear waste, French fries that bring a new meaning to Cold War. Well, today, Guy fired back in the food fight. With me tonight in New York, Nikki Boyer. She's the host of Daytime and No Time on Yahoo TV. In Hollywood, the great Hal Sparks. He's the host of Politishock with Hal Sparks on Sirius XM Radio. So, guys, this review of Guy Fieri's restaurant may quite possibly be the nastiest review of anything that I've ever read. And I want to read to you now some of the highlights. It's a series of questions that the reviewer posed to <laughs> Guy. Hey, did you try that blue drink, the one that glows like nuclear waste, the watermelon margarita? Any idea why it tastes like some combination of radiator fluid and formaldehyde? <laughs> Here's another good one. Why is one of the few things on your menu that can be eaten without fear or regret called a roasted pork banh mi when it resembles that item about as much as you resemble Emily Dickinson? And this could possibly be the meanest. Somewhere within the yawning three-level interior of Guy's American Kitchen and Bar, is there a long refrigerated tunnel that servers have to pass through to make sure that the French fries, already limp and oil-sogged, are also served cold? Hal, what do you think? Is is this a cheap shot or a clean hit here? I don't see how it's clean at all. I, don't, I think it sounds like a rounding review of a, of a place that's supposed to be serving diner crap food from across the country. I mean, arguably, isn't this the style of food he's, you know, he's, his entire career is based on? It sounds pretty authentic to me. It sounds like a lot of the dumps and diners I've had to eat in. Uh, it uh, Maybe it's the New York part that's bothering everybody. You know, yeah, <laughs> you don't go I, to New York. To yeah. get this kind of food. I, I don't think Guy is feeling this way about it, though, Hal, because he fired back today. He appeared this morning on the Today Show. Savannah Guthrie asked him how he felt about uh, how he felt when he heard about how badly he, his restaurant had been trashed, and here's what he said. It must have felt like a punch in the gut. I, punch in the gut? I just thought it was ridiculous. I mean, I've read reviews. I, you know, there's good and there's bad in the restaurant business, but that to me went so overboard, it really seemed like there was another agenda. It's a great way to make a name for yourself. Go after a celebrity chef that's not a New Yorker, that's doing a big concept in his second month. Great way to hit it. And if you had, <laughs> you, you could say anything to this reviewer right now, what would you say? You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Guy is being thin-skinned, Nikki. What about you? I, I think he's on the right path here. You know, I, it, it probably does not feel good, and I think that he's absolutely justified in his reaction. But if you kind of look at his eyes when he's talking and you see he's embarrassed, I don't think he ever well, thought yeah. that this was going to happen. No, not and not to him. He's the no, great Guy Fieri. Exactly. How can, um, but how can how can a guy with like uh, with frosted tips that extreme <laughs> hey. that they go I think into his actual skull uh, and Elvis sunglasses be embarrassed by how heavily he's trounced. Well, Arguably, I the food he serves is the is the culinary version of that review. 
You know well, what I mean? There's nothing yeah. subtle or, either or direction. His, or his hair, possibly. <laughs> but I want to move to someone else who's being kicked around a lot more than Guy, and he's also speaking out today. It's our number two shocker on the showbiz countdown. Retired General David Petraeus. He has been in hiding since his sex scandal cost him his job as CIA director, and he's finally breaking his silence to HLN's own Kira Phillips. Now, Kira's interviewed Petraeus a whole lot of times in the past as part of her excellent work covering the nation's military, and she's been speaking with him since last week when it came out that he was cheating on his wife of 37 years. Well, this morning, Kira called into HLN's Morning Express with Robin Mead to reveal what Petraeus told her. Watch. In our first conversation, he had told me he had engaged in something dishonorable, um, and he sought to do the honorable thing in response, and that was to come forward. Um, he was very clear that he screwed up terribly, um, that it was all his fault, um, and even that, it, uh, that he felt fortunate to have a wife uh, who is far better uh, than he deserves. Um, Obviously, uh, he's taking it uh, really hard. He knows he made a big mistake, and he does uh, want to move forward, making things work with his family. He doesn't want to throw 37 years out the window with his yeah. wife. Okay. Nikki, do you think that Petraeus mm -hmm. is sorry for the affair or sorry that he got caught? Ooh, that's a good one, AJ. I really do think he's sorry for the affair. I don't think this guy set out to ruin his family. I think that he just got caught up in a situation where he was spending a lot of time far away from his family with a woman who was clearly enamored by him. I, first of all, I think it's hilarious that the book is called All In. I think that's <laughs> all right. <laughs> just gonna say that, but yeah. I, I don't think he. I, I don't think he should have resigned. Actually, I think I think he should have stuck his. Stuck his ground and just. Stayed uh, I don't think there was Look, any no. way. They, they, first of all, arm, no, the army, uh, both the code of conduct in there and in the CIA, that a, 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 an illicit affair will end your career yeah. in the intelligence community. But it's not uh, to me. It, <laughs> It, it, well, he was the president. He didn't. His oh. his briefings wouldn't have affected Don't worry that. He about can't the be blackmailed with it. No, there's a difference. There's a difference because the president can't be directly blackmailed that way. Th that's why in the intelligence community that's there. His big problem, and I think over more than the relationship, which I think is between his family and himself. I don't have an issue with that personally. Is that he believed that Gmail was secure? <laughs> that yeah. he could. That's the scariest thing. The head of the CIA thought he could send illicit, you know, uh, you know, uh, love text back that, to, uh, you know, messages back and forth to his... Me. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's more worrisome than the affair itself. Okay, so barely edible food, cheating CIA officials. What could possibly top those stories to be number one on our Showbiz Shocker countdown today? Well, it's this. Lindsay Lohan has a secret sister. Who knew? Uh, Lindsay Lohan's dad, Michael, who certainly hasn't won any Father of the Year awards, just found out he's got another daughter. She's 17 years old. The mother's a woman that Lohan had a fling with back in 95 when he was still married to Dina Lohan. Michael has spent years denying he's the daddy of this girl, but today a DNA test on Trisha Goddard's talk show confirmed the truth for everyone to see. Let's watch. <laughs> Michael is Ashley's father. <laughs> Just prove to you. I believe what you said. <laughs> Get up. No. Come no. here. I just no. want to hug you. Uh. Okay. This is the first time I've met you. Okay. I'm sorry, but... It's I'm, okay. It's okay. I'm not sure. Everything in time, honey. Everything will be fine. Uh, okay, it didn't look like she was really embracing the embrace there. It mm -hmm. looks like she wanted nothing to do with him, actually. Uh, kind of like Lindsay. Nikki, <laughs> for someone whose skills as a father are, are so suspect, he sure has a lot of kids, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, he is really good at making them, just not taking care of any of them. Um, he, what's interesting about this to me is that no matter what Lindsay is doing in the media, her father always finds a way to trump it. She has her Liz and Dick uh, um, Lifetime movie coming coming out on Monday. And of course, now he's got a trumpet by saying, oh yeah, I did have an affair with your mother. Maybe he's the one that should be fired and resign from being most annoying father on the face of the planet. Hal, Hal do you think Lindsay should be reaching out to her new half-sister? <laughs> Um, absolutely, but I think from a distance for a time. I, you know, that, that's always an awkward thing when, when, by the way, this kind of thing 
happens all the time yeah. with non-showbiz families. It really does. Yeah. And so there, there's an element of uh, camera scrutiny that adds a, an extra layer of complexity that I think everybody else should be slightly aware of. Um, it's not this girl's fault that her parents did that a long time ago. And, and yet it, she will be treated as if it is. Y yet, of course, unfortunately. It, well, unfortunately, but hopefully people have the common sense to, to realize what you just said. Yeah. Uh, however, this is a That'll showbiz happen. family, <laughs> and I have to say, I don't think there are a lot of people seeing who's involved. Michael Lohan uh, s saying that they're really surprised by any of this. Hal Sparks, Nikki Boyer, great to see you both. Thank, Thank you. you. So as we